Now, see this question. This is a good question. Right. So, this is a logical statement based question. So, consider the following statement irrespective of 5 candidates. So, how many candidates are there? P, Q, R, S, T. Right. Two statements are true and one statement is false. So, let us read first true statement. One of P and Q was selected for the job. So, out of P and Q, only one will be selected. Right. Now, first we are reading the true statement only. At most, two of R, S, T were selected for the job. So, out of these three, we can select either 0, 1 or 2 because this is saying at most 2 will be get selected. Right. Now, let us read the false statement. The false statement is, the statement is saying at least 1 of R and S. So, at least 1 means it is saying yato R will get selected or S will get selected or both will get selected. So, this is false statement. It means no one will get selected. Right. R will not get selected, S will not get selected, right, and R, S and S both are not getting selected because this statement is false, right. So, they have told at least one. So, that is why we consider R and S case also, right. So, now which one of the following conclusion can be drawn? At least four were selected for the job. So, how many will get selected for the job? Because out of P and Q, we will select only one, right, and out of these R and S and T, there can be zero chance also or there can be the possibility of choosing one because R, S and R are not getting selected, right. So, the first statement is saying at least four. So, come say come four, four to selecting your ACC with right. So, first statement is wrong. Now, second, S was selected for the job. So, according to this false statement, S is not getting selected, right. And this is saying S was selected. So, this is also wrong. So, second option is also wrong. So, the answer will be option D, okay.